All right, so I had a question about the FM9, the way the firing pin works. I was linked to another video where a guy couldn't figure out how uh, the way the, f uh, the hammer and the lower receiver strikes the firing pin, how it actually fires the bullet because when he presses on the back of it, um, nothing is exposed, okay? Now it's a spring-loaded firing pin. You just gotta understand that the inertia of the hammer flying forward is going to smack the pin it's not just going to maintain contact it's going to smack the pin it's going to go forward in your bolt it's going to strike your primer and then it's going to return with this return spring and so that's what you got to keep in mind um, so there's not a lot of uh, surface area where it meets um, that's to prevent um, early detonation because you want this thing to be completely locked up before the hammer strikes otherwise um, you're going to get uh, a premature detonation that will blow out in your gun and that's not a good thing so you want the brass to be completely encapsulated by the chamber of your barrel before that firing pin strikes this design um, ensures that because if it's not fully locked up it's not fully forward then your hammer is going to strike the bottom of the bolt instead of the firing pin it's going to prevent that so um, this you know involves the right spring tension the right buffer weight um, no no bolt bounce all these things um, to ensure that you don't have any explosions inside your receiver that are going to cause you harm and your weapon damage um, so if you watch me press on the firing pin with an allen wrench um, you will see it protrude out the front of the bolt but that is recessed maybe an eighth of an inch into your bolt um, to where the hammer is not actually touching anymore. Like I said, it's, it's just the inertia of the hammer striking the firing pin, the firing pin flying forward and then returning with the spring tension that it's built into. So I hope that answers your question. Um, and uh, I'll link this to the guy that made the original video as well. Thanks.